That being said, there are a number of reasons why I am against state socialism. I begin with arguing that socialism's fragility begins with the system of centralized planning. At least in the context of history, centrally planned economies incentivize managers to be bad actors by hoarding materials and laborers and padding central plans for their own benefit. What I describe as state socialism self-sabotage leads to its next downfall, its inability to uphold its own social contract, ability to uphold its own social contract, which guaranteed people food and clothing, but did not promise about? quality, ready availability, and choice. The underpinning logic of state I'm socialism, sorry. which is the accumulation of production, made these societies unable to compete technologically and economically with capitalist societies. As Joe would put it, after 70 years of murderous effort, about? the Soviet Union had created a German industry of the 1880s and the 1980s. Last but oh not least, God. what is probably the largest indicator of state socialism's downfall was ironically its desire to be more capitalistic, <clears throat> as reformers introducing capitalistic reforms were opening Pandora's box. Despite these statements against state socialism, I am not against the state getting involved with the economy via politics. After all, I am a sock dem. I am a sock dem. What, what country won the space race? Uh, which country is still surviving today? What, what country won the space race? Which country is which? What I country is doing the best the in the States. entire world no in terms of responding to the coronavirus pandemic? What country is number one in the entire world in responding to the that What country? Was the thing that solidified the USSR it wasn't just Sputnik. It was like, literally dude, everything dude, except for the moon landing, dude. Underpinning, oh, wait, like, oh, the United the States has a centrally planned the economy. You know that the United day, States has like, a centrally I planned economy, right? Are you tracking on that? It has nothing Repeat to do with like, uh, yeah, 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 I'm willing to Repeat that. The United States has a centrally planned economy. Our pharmaceutical industry is centrally planned by a combination of the CDC, the NIH, public universities, all those things. The entire technology sector is literally planned by the Defense Department, the CIA, the NSA, all these big institutions that plan out the entire technology sector. Things like NASA, right? Okay, the agricultural sector, I mean, literally farmers get subsidies for farming specific crops. They get subsidies for farming nothing, depending on what it is the government thinks we're gonna need next year. I mean, the United States is a centrally planned economy. And then you look at the countries that are responding the best to the pandemic. I mean, literally Venezuela, Venezuela, one of the poorest socialist countries is literally doing better. It has a lower case rate and mortality rate than every single European country right now. And they're literally one of the poorest Country. What are you talking about? I think well, a better like, example wait, 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 would be I, Vietnam. I never The United States. I never mentioned COVID. No, you mentioned central planning. You said that the because of central, central planning, planning it mentioned central planning. About. But like the United the States is doing central planning Europe and it's a disaster, and and Vietnam is doing central planning, and they literally saved their population from the coronavirus. Oh snap! Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell. I also stream every day on Twitch. Link in the description. Take care of yourself and each other.